hello from the Moonraker Mudlarks and today we've got special guests with us, the West Country Mudlarks. And we've brought them to our favourite tip. So hopefully we're going to find some lovely finds today. Yeah, hello, fingers yeah. crossed. So you know what's going to happen? If we find anything, we will bring you back. Yay. My oh. first little find. Oh, a little tin. Sometimes you can't see what's on them though, can you? I tell you what, so a lot of what's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it is, um, you know, like um, Nivea cream and that sort yeah. of stuff. Um, or it's maybe some dental. Can't do that. Can't do that. Lovely. Like, wow. <laughs> Look what Dave's just dug out. <laughs> Dave's... <laughs> Show us, babe. Oh. Hang! <laughs> A bit it's wonky. A bit wonky stem on it, but... but what is it made of, though? Is it wood or is it clay? Oh, look at that beauty. Oh, that's nice. That's one of the curved ones. Or is it just bent? That's a good find of the that's day. That's nice. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. That well done. is awesome. Look, you pass that in a smile and you get some pipes and cods. <laughs> hey! Uh, what, have we been here? Ten minutes? I yeah. think that's a terracotta one. Awesome. Yeah, just... Amazing. <laughs> WCR Co. Limited. Co. Lovely. Yeah, limited. WCR. WCR. West Country Retail. Oh, that would have been West nice. Country Retail, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Nice. Could Inside be. the um the bottle. We'll take that out. Oh, sorry, Jackie. Oh, it's alright. Just show show me what you got there. Show us your wares, Ian. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's got uh, thirty on the bottom. I find the knuckle off of a bone. Oh, that's a lovely. And it's got the top on it still. Cool. So yeah. Well done. I'm going home now. Bye. What you found? Oh, lovely. What? Why is that? Do you know it's so light? Well, it's a beautiful colour. It's so light. That's gorgeous. That's a nice marble. What you got there? Look, yeah, marble. Oh, Jesus. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're jacking too much. You want to get more digging? <laughs> yeah, got That's nice, Jackie. Well done. Nice find. It's paint or if it's it a... might be whatever it was contained. Or I don't What's know. The top, right? It's a beautiful lid. Oh, though. that's yeah, that's lovely. I wasn't that's expecting lovely. that. Well done. Great Brilliant time. find. Well Brilliant done. Find. Everybody knows it's an Indian ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good find. Well done, really babe. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, it's got some writing just around the edge here, but I can't really read what it says. That's lovely. But a nice shape, isn't it? That's lovely, actually. Yeah. May I? You I've got my glasses on. Let's see. No, I can't read it, read it either. No. That's lovely, though. Thank you. And the other one that you've got on your absolute now, prize. Is what Louise found. Absolutely. Look tiny. at that. Amazing. That is so small. That's the smallest one I've seen. Yeah. That is, yeah, that, yeah, well that beats the little one that we've got as well. Definitely, yeah. Well, oh, well. Ah, that would be the test. Yeah. That That's one, ours is wider than that, so yeah, the smaller. Oh, that is tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs> Look at that. It says um, D. Yippers or something. This got right in all the way down there. It's down the side there, yeah. That is absolutely. Who, who of Cooper's nightly takes something sleep in awakes? Well, I can't read That's it properly. Okay. You might be able to see it. Who do Cooper night takes soundly sleeps? And fit awakes. Oh, uh, awakes fit basically. Yeah, yeah, right, lovely. Nice, yeah. yeah. Nice what an amazing nice find. Lovely. Well done. Just uncovered this tiny little bead. First one of the day. Yeah, I am just going to have a little hook around there. Adorable. Never knows. Nice teaspoons. We don't have many of this shape. In fact, I think we've only got one. A nice welcome night. 
It says E.D. Smith of Bristol. Excuse my shaky hands. And another Vulcanite. Look at this gorgeous little bottle. It does have writing on the bottom. I can't quite read it at the moment. I've unearthed this little amber vial with a lip, a pouring lip on there. James has just handed me a glass tube. You can see James has joined us. He's just off to have a look at some surface finds while I continue to dig in my hole. And see Dave has come over with a little present for you. Oh, oh well, brilliant. Bottle stopper. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's just really cute, isn't it? Isn't that lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Add to my collection. Yeah. <laughs> Found an absolutely gorgeous little glass stopper. No, children. I scraped it like that. What have you found? It popped out the hole, and I went, "Oh, that's nice." <laughs> oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> yes, not to be taken. Beauty, well done, Dave. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> no, well done. Yeah, a little green one. There you go. That's awesome. That's oh, a, no, a nice, nice green fine. as well. Yeah, well that's a beautiful it's a, green. Yeah, green. Yeah, have a look. Have a look. He's going to run off with that now. Right, I'm going. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. You know what you said? That's a lovely We're little poison, that. Oh, yeah. oh. That's why I was going about to give up, I was. Congratulations. There's a Burdell's chemist of Sheffield. Not got no, one of those. So Dave's just found this lovely bead. Absolutely gorgeous. Get it in focus. Look at that. And Jackie's busy digging herself a trench. She's found some nice little finds so far. And a little hole that she's making. <laughs> Extraction time. Oh, that's a big pot. <sighs> Been digging that for ten minutes. <laughs> you want to empty it out and kiss us some inside? There we go. Oh, it's a Sunday one. It's holy. Holy. <laughs> Bingo of my other little holy one, look. Yeah. There you go. What's that in the bottom of your hole? There's something shining down in the hole where that just come out. Yeah, there's lots of broken bits here. Yeah. A bit of metal too. Oh, that was a bit of pottery. All right, let's hope you find something good. And over this way we have Ian who's also digging a in big trench. Not too deep. There you go. It's always the sauce bottles that are whole. And the paste pots. And the paste pots. Copious amounts of paste pots. Go with the root. Lots of nettle roots, more sauce bottles. Uh, furiously digging. We will be in Tasmania soon. <laughs> and over there, Louise is sitting in her little hole. And she's been finding loads of stuff. I mean, it's a beautiful woodland, and it's amazing that this is actually a tip. The whole lot is a tip or a rubbish dump. As far as the eye can see that way is dump. Bottle digger's heaven. It's bottle digger's heaven. It as certainly is. And as far as you can see and far over that way is also 
Um, and there we have Mr. Archer. Uh, get some bottles. <laughs> hey. And if we find anything really interesting, we shall bring you back. I found this little bottle. Would have been nail varnish. Still has some in there. Nice pink colour. So you've heard of a tip nip. Here's a Viking tip shield. Uh, Dave dug this out. Lovely bottle which says tattoo down the bottom. Side, sorry. And Geo R Sims, which I suppose is George Sims on the side. And it's still got a metal stopper in the top. Beautiful. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, it's been great fun. Yeah, yeah. loved it. Have a really good day. We are definitely coming again. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? You come tomorrow? I'll finish work nice and early in the morning. <laughs> well, oh dear. dear, I'd love to. Awesome. <laughs>
Cooperative Wholesale Society. I'll get that in the light so you can see it a bit better. And what was this one? And another generic one. Lovely. Here's my amazing lid. It wasn't blue, it is clear glass. It's got a bit of a crack in it, unfortunately, but I might keep it to store stoppers or marbles then. A nice ink there. Then getting a bit more modern. We have a quink ink, and I didn't clean it properly because you can still see some of the ink in there, look. Isn't that amazing? It had its lid on it, so it wasn't in that dirty inside. A really big swan ink here. A couple of lovely bottles. So we found some tea spoons. We, this is only makes our total to three of this particular type. We usually find the square ones, which was nice. The little bottle with the nail varnish in. I would imagine that had nail varnish in as well and it has a little design on there. Look at that, so gorgeous. I love the tiny bottles. And this one's faceted, so I would imagine that would have contained perfume. Big clear file with a lip. A small amber vial with a lip. I just love that. It kind of reminds me of a Demi John, but a tiny one. And over to our bottles. So this one says Tattoo on one side and George R. Sims on the other. And I do have a little bit of information about that. So George R. Sims of London registered this brand name as a trademark in 1897 and he started to sell this product of the same year. So this was actually Hair Restorer. And after this clip, I will show you some adverts. This one has Birdall's Chemist of Sheffield embossed on there. Unfortunately, I could not find any information of it. So this one remains a bit of a mystery. And that lovely bottle that Ian found, um, which had soundly slept and fit awakes embossed on it, was a brand called Dukaipa and contained gin. And after this uh, clip, I will show you an advert. So I really do hope you enjoyed our video. Please remember to like and subscribe so um, you don't miss any content. Please leave us comments below. Any feedback is most welcome. Um, we also have a Facebook community page called Moonraker Mudlarks, Mudlarking Community and um, please if you want to join it um, you can share your finds and promote your own social media channels. Um, we also do have a Ko-fi account if you feel generous and want to um, buy us a coffee or we also do have an Amazon wish list and both the links you can find um, on our page. So until the next time, bye for now.